Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a fake captive portal and steal the login information using social engineering. So let's get started. And first off, I'm going to click on the wireless icon from the taskbar. And you can see I'm connected to airport free Wi-Fi. Now, let's say, for example, when you connect to this wireless network, you are being redirected to this login page. So let's pretend this is the original captive portal page, which is displayed to the users when they try to connect to the airport free Wi-Fi. Okay, now let's switch to the Kali machine and see how to create an access point with the same login page and similar name. And first I'm going to open host apd config file using nano and the file name and change the name to airport free Wi-Fi version 2 and save the file and then start the access point using host apd and put the location for the configuration file and I'm also going to add dash b option okay so the next thing is to create the exact same login page as the original one so first I will change directory to slash var slash www slash html and here I will type htrack and now I need to put the link for the website which I want to clone so I'll go back to the windows machine and copy the login page link and paste it here and press enter this process may take some time depending on how big is the website Okay, so the next step is to capture the network traffic from the access point. And to do that, I will type T-Shark and set the interface to WLAN 0. And dash W and put the file name. And in my case, I will use capture AP. And press enter. Okay, now at this point you can use a deauthentication attack to kick all the users from the original access point and force them to connect to your fake access point. So to do that I will open a new tab and type aerodump ng wlan1 mon. This wlan1 is another wireless adapter in monitor mode which I have attached to the virtual machine. And press enter. And now you need to type airplay ng dash zero zero dash a and copy the MAC address from the original access point and paste it here and put the wireless interface and press enter. And now the attack is running. So let's go to the victim machine and click on the wireless icon. And you can see I'm no longer connected to the network because the authentication attack is disconnecting all the users from the network. So the victim will think there is something wrong with the network and he may try to connect to the version 2. And he will be redirected to the fake login page, which looks exactly as the original one. So let's say he will use Jack for the username and let me in for the password and tries to sign in. Okay, now let's go to the Kali machine and stop the capturing process using Ctrl plus C. And to find the login information, I'm going to type this nif dash p and the capture file name and press enter. And here you can see the username Jack and the password let me in. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.